Hello everyone, it's Andrew Shodanizi and today we will implement showing damage. First we need to download and input enemy model. That's why we open Mixama, choose a model and download it. Now we need to import it. But before that create a folder called zombie in assets characters. Then open this folder and import the model. Next add a folder called widgets to the blueprints folder. Then create a widget blueprint named wdamagetext. Create a canvas and add the text and set a lot of nines as a value. Dusify the text to the center and NK it to the center too. Set the text position to zero point. and the alignment to 0.5.5. Also set font's outline size to the 4. We have to change the size of the canvas panel to fit the text. Then set text as a variable and rename it to damage text. Open the animations and add new code Fade Out. Add a track for damage text. Select render opacity and transform the tracks. Decrease timeline size to 1 second. For opacity create a keys in the middle with value 0.8 and at the end with value 0.1. For transform translation Y, add a key at the end and set the value to minus 30. Then open the graph and add a variable called parent component of type widget component. Select this variable and seek instance editable and expose on spawn. Next find the construct event and use set position of damage text canvas slot. with a random value for the position. We will use values from minus 30 to 30 for X and Y. You can experiment with different values if you want. Then play animation fade out. and bind a custom event to the animation finished dispatcher. Create a dispatcher called delete with an input value of widget component type. and call the dispatcher in event binded to animation finished.
Next to the variable called damage of type float. Select this variable and seek instance editable and expose on spawn. Open the designer and select the text. Create a binding to the damage variable. Convert the damage to text and return it. Expand the to text node and set 0 to the maximum fractional digits. Next open the Blueprints Characters folder and a folder called Enemies. And create a Blueprint inherited from the character class named BP Enemy. Open it and set the imported model as a skeletal mesh. Move, rotate and scale the mesh to fit the collider and scene direction. Then open the event graph and implement the event on take any damage event. After implementation, we will bind the event to the on take any damage. Use the function at widget component. Select it and choose screen as a space. And set the widget component instance to the parent component of the widget and connect the damage pins. Next, use set widget function of the widget component. And set created widget to it. Also create a binding to the delete event from the custom event called remove widget with the input of widget component type. Inside this event handler use the destroy component of the widget component instance. Finally open the begin play event and bind the on take any damage event to the on take any damage dispatcher use the create event node and select on take any damage event lastly we need to add bullet collision with the enemy to do it open bullet class select a sphere and choose a custom collision preset with overlap enabled for pounds Then implement the actor begin overlap event. Cast the other actor to BP enemy. Next call the apply damage function of the cast result. And set a random float value between 10 and 1000 as the damage. Add the enemy to the level. And now the damage text is working. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.